Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to load data when you're working on your data science project. So I'm going to be using Google Colab to show you this and at the end of this you can always click the link in the description below and you'll be able to get a copy of this notebook. So let's dive in. So if you're loading data manually if you're in Google Colab, you can just come here and see where it says files. You click on it and then you can click the upload button or you can just go to where your data is located and drag it here. Okay, so now we have the data here. So we can just call up the data. We can just do the same thing we did above. So we can do PD, we can do um, alcohol equal to PD.read. CSV and in this situation we just type in the name of the data as you can see um, this is the data that we loaded so this is alcohol data that's one way to do it um, another way to do it is to another way to load data here manually is to use code so the code that you use is from google.colab import files okay and then you and then you can just be like upload equal to files dot upload okay and then whenever you run this import files what what did I do <laughs> and once we click on this and then it ask us to browse and then you find the data you're looking for double click and it will be loaded here so after you've done that actually we have to refresh this for you to see it this is the one that was loaded so this is the original data that we loaded from our manual computer from our computer manually and this is one that was loaded from the google Colab right here that's why it has this in front of it as you can see this file right here that we loaded manually use alcohol consumption it's the same as this file that we loaded using Google Colab. And of course, you can click something like this and click on Mount Drive to upload a file from to upload a file from your Google Drive. So at the end of it, oh, this video showed you four ways to load data in a Python notebook. And of course, you can always click the link in the description below. To download a copy of this notebook, I'm going to make it available. You can download a copy of this notebook. And once you've downloaded it, um, you won't be able to write on it. You just have to click on File, Save a Copy and Drive. That's how you get your own copy. And once you get your own copy, you can edit it. And you can always click Locate and Drive to find where your file is. And if you just want the Python version of this, you can do Download that's IPYNB and you can be able to download just the Python version of this um, no notebook or anything like that and if this video helped you please subscribe thumbs up share and most importantly comment below if you want me to make more tutorial videos like this one I hope you liked it and that's it for today thanks bye